Gentleman is the latest film from British director Guy Ritchie and stars Charlie Hunnaman, Matthew McConaughey, Hugh Grant, Henry Golding, Colin Farrell, and Michelle Dockery. This was yet another movie that I was looking forward to seeing this year, but just never really got around to it. Well, I've never done a deep dive into Guy Ritchie's filmography, I've always been aware of his presence as a great director turned into mediocrity. Other film geeks and film critics have spoken about this on many occasions. In both movies I've seen of his before, Aladdin 2019 and King Arthur Legend of the Sword, were less than stellar to say the least. So when the buzz around this movie that it was going to be a return to form for him, I was excited to see what he was actually capable of. And really for the most part, The Gentleman is one of my favorite movies of the year so far. I was actually really shocked at how much I liked this movie. It's a very style over substance movie in the best way possible. Other films like Kingsman, The Secret Service, Kick-Ass, and Scott Pilgrim vs. the World are very much like this as well, even though I do like those movies a bit more than this one. While it isn't lacking in a good story at all, the direction, editing, and colorful characters all take center stage, really the best way to make a style over substance movie, because the story is never compromised for a stylized scene. The movie even pokes fun at this notion. Other than having a really solid stylized direction and editing, The Gentleman is really carried by two things. The amazing performances given by the entire cast, and in turn their great characters, and the story that remains intriguing throughout the entire movie, despite its more confusing moments. The performances in The Gentleman are the best I've seen from an ensemble cast since last year's Knives Out. Everyone gives a fantastic performance that really fleshes out each character. Matthew McConaughey is really just flexing, flexing his accent, act ding chops jesus and gives just an amazing performance sliding into the role of a drug lord who is pretty much in the right for the entire movie while his character may do some horrible things he always plays it like he believes he's doing it for the greater good which in this movie he kind of is colin farrell is just a ton of fun in this movie and plays an honest to god hilarious badass pretty much every scene he's in is pure gold hugh grant is really solid as this, this slimy writer Henry Golding is really solid as one of the antagonists, Michelle Dockery was really good, and I wish he had more screen time. However, the best performance given here is actually Charlie Hunnaman. While I've always knew he was a talented actor, he never really got a chance to shine on the big screen before like this, either being sidelined in favor of larger names or given the leading role in bad movies. Here he is able to have one of the leading roles and absolutely runs with it. Without any spoilers, his character and Hugh Grant's character get the best twists and turns and play off each other very well. My favorite character was probably Colin Farrell's, and he gave an excellent performance as well. Charlie Hunnaman easily gave his best performance of his career and really hits a home run here. The story created by Richie, Ivan Atkinson, and Marin Davis is another reason why it works so well. Not only is each character completely fleshed out and unique, the world we were thrust into is such an interesting one that it grabs your attention all the way through. While it may drag slightly in places and the surprise antagonist of the movie was way too obvious, the movie makes up for it by building a, such a unique and interesting world all about organized crime. It is an extremely clever movie with its twists and turns as well, always having you guessing on what's really happening and what is really being exaggerated or hidden. This is a really, there is a really great plot device that is used, which I really won't spoil here. This very unique way of storytelling is only helped by the solid as hell direction from Guy Ritchie. While I did really, really, really enjoy The Gentleman, it does have one pretty large flaw that keeps it from being a truly great movie. While I was talking about the story earlier, I intentionally didn't praise the script. While the characters are all fantastic, the dialogue could be really self-indulgent throughout the entire movie. Everyone in the movie kind of speaks in metaphors to hide what they really mean. And while I get how that fits into the style of the movie, it can be slightly irritating at times when it's just overkill. And like I said before, the surprise villain is just completely generic and dumb. And it kind of sticks out like a, thor a sore thumb with the rest of the movie's stor uh, clever storytelling. The Gentleman is a really solid movie that surprised me with how great the cast and characters were and told a very unique story that took place in a really intriguing world. While the dialogue may not have been the best in places, the stellar performances and solid story do really make up for it. Guy Richard really sold me on how good of a director he can be. The Gentleman gets an A-. Thank you so much for watching the review, and I will see you guys next time.